Well, today is the historic grand opening for Wichita's new airport terminal. That's where we find Cake's Monica Castro, where she highlights some of the excitement of the new terminal. Monica? Well, definitely, there's still a lot of excitement here at the new airport, and there's a number of people over here trying to gather their bags. Now, many people we talked to today say this new airport truly gives new visitors a great first impression of Wichita. But not only that, it's something many Wichitans are proud of. We're all proud, thrilled, and happy that this day has finally come to fruition after 10 plus years of planning. It's a great day to be in the air capital of Kansas. It's a great day to be in the air capital of the world. This brand new airport finally operational for passengers. We're looking so forward to um, having a first class airport that's going to showcase our city in the best way possible. What a great first impression. And today has been a long time coming. Here's a little history of the airport, formerly known as Wichita Midcontinent. City leaders broke ground on this airport in 2012. Later in 2013, there was an online petition to rename it. In 2014, a motion passed to rename it to honor Dwight D. Eisenhower. And this past January, the new logo for the Wichita Dwight D. Eisenhower National Airport was unveiled. Earlier today, guests arrived at dawn to not only get a look at the brand new airport, but greet the first arriving guests. I, I fly a lot, so this is probably the, one of the nicest airports I've been in. And folks flying out of here today were in awe of the design. It's modern, it's state of the art, and uh, uh, I'm I'm particularly happy to see the TSA line uh, go through with such an automated process. It's so bright and nice, and the other one served its its days. It was time to move on. Now this terminal costs $200 million to construct. And here's just some of the new amenities of this new airport, this great seating area. And what's really cool about this airport, as soon as you walk in, you get that new airport smell. So it's definitely a beautiful facility. Now we're reporting live, Monica Castro, Cake News.